There they are. See, they're standing at the door. They're like, They've been waiting a long time for this. 781 days. A long fight. The families of Shane Bauer and Josh Fatal had flown to the Gulf state of Oman for the reunion. And they were happy families as the men bounded down the steps to meet them. We are so happy we are free and so relieved we are free. Our deepest gratitude goes towards His Majesty Sultan Qaboos of Oman for obtaining our release. We are sincerely grateful to the government of Oman for hosting us and our families. Two years in prison is too long and we sincerely hope for the freedom of other political prisoners and other unjustly imprisoned people in America and Iran. Thank you very much. Just hours before, they'd been driven to Tehran's Meribad airport as their Iranian ordeal came to an end. The two men spent nearly 26 months in jail. Iranian border guards arrested them on the rough terrain between Iran and Iraq. They were convicted of espionage but say they were only hiking. A third member of their group, Sarah Shord, was released a year ago, reportedly for health reasons. The circumstances of the American men's release closely mirrors Ms. Shord's, flown from the country on the eve of an address by Mahmoud Ahmadinejad to the United Nations. The Iranian president appears to have got his way in a disagreement with Iran's clerics over the release. Half a million dollars are thought to have been paid in bail money for each man. We don't know if there were hikers or something else. Uh, they trespassed our sovereign and independent borders. Um, every government, every nation has legal punishment for illegal entry into any border. Whatever they were doing in Iran, Josh Fatal and Shane Bauer's ordeal is over. The families say this is the best day of their lives. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera.